Hey everyone. So this is not going to be a proper, you know, two hour long commentary thing. But I do want to talk about this particular speed paint because I use the same techniques that I did, you know, the full explaining in the tutorial video, but then I use them in different ways. That makes sense. So I just want to sort of talk while this one's going on. So let's play. So the beginning is always the same, but in this one, you see I didn't color in the far legs, and I'm gonna do those on a different layer it's just to keep them separate. Because I felt like I might end up moving them, and it's just easier to do everything. If it's on its own layer. See, there's the far legs layer I just made. And I'm, I'm just going to select and then use the fill tool to fill in the selection. Right now I'm putting on the color. I am I bleh, I end up doing color slightly differently. Still on, I still use a grain merge, but instead of the layer being grain merged, I make a layer group. And here's a quick brush. Uh, I make a layer group, and you can set layer groups on like layer mode. So I can set the layer group on grain merge, and everything in that group will merge down. And you'll see me do that when I do the white marking. I like to try to keep the white marking separate if I can. See, I've made the color group. There's the body color and the dapples layer, and the whole group is set on green merge, so that I didn't want to combine everything together, like the dapples on top of the color. So I just made it put those layers separately into a group and put the group on green merge instead. This is the I think it's called the lasso tool. Um, I just found it. Select it. Fill in. For that muzzle marking, I got a slightly orange red color and put out the brush mode on green merge and just really low opacity and just clicked a few times. Alright, so instead of having the green merge mode for the dark, you know, the low lights, I have one layer that is specifically for shadows and it's set on dark and only and that will just if you use black it'll just put black on without going outside the lines because you know I, I like going outside the lines and stuff alright so now I have a a grain merge layer for the highlights and you saw me do the gray the gray base like I did in the, the tutorial walkthrough process whatever video. And I'm switching between using white and a slightly like a light peachy color. If you look at my uh I don't know what those rectangles are called. Color palette. Okay, I'm so proud of this braid. Um it's a double waterfall braid. This is a challenge, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Maybe just watch me do it. I don't know. All I had done is I looked at a picture of a double waterfall braid. transferred the idea to a horse. I I really like it. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying that. I really like it. Those braids are hard if you've never done them before. Kind of mess with your mind a little bit. How they keep weaving. And then I 
just lighten the ends by using the uh, dodge tool. In this video, um, the actual drawing coloring time was 4 hours, which is longer than the sketching and coloring time combined for my uh, process video. So this guy took forever because I started getting into details and I, I kept doing so many details. And so that's part of the reason why this video is 20 minutes long. I didn't want to like speed it along and make it look you know, crazy fast speed. So I decided that the, the stomach was too fat, and so I slumped it down. Now I'm doing the hooves. I just use a colorized tool to change the color to the right one. I decided to move the far leg onto their own layer group. So I just have to copy and paste all like the color layer for those areas, and the burn layer, and the highlights layer. Because it is easier, at least for me, if the far legs are in their own layer groups so that you can work on them independently. You know the shading won't all be on one layer, they'll have their own layer for the shading. Alright, right here I'm changing the burn color from straight black to a dark red just because you know the muzzle is pink and not like gray like the rest of the body just something a little bit more realistic for the eye I use a layer on grain merge and a normal layer both with black and white on it I'm starting to go around in detail Smudging out the white markings make it look like it's made out of hair and not like Now I'm really focusing on the highlights, making them making more highlights, making the existing highlights stand out more. I'm not using a reference for this, so I'm just kinda winging it. I realize he looks way too buff and he still looks too fat. So, uh, I'm trying to slim him down more. He's not supposed to look like a quarter horse, which is what he looks like right now. I keep slimming him down throughout the remainder of the video. Here I'm realizing I didn't like the highlights job I did, so I just got rid of it all. Still 
alternating between using white and that light peach color for the windows. And this time on this one I decide to smudge the highlights out to make the whole coat appear smoother. Just thought it looked better than it did before. dark with the shadows since then, but I fixed it eventually. Adding some veins, because why not? Making the darks of the white areas darker. like a transparent ending. And that's, I just added the shadows for the hair, so I copied the main layer and pasted it, turned it into black using colorize, and with the, you can go to filters, blur, gaussian blur, or filters, tools, look, Blur. And if you blur it out, it looks like the shadow makes it. It just helps with the breathing. I have a, a layer, I just made a layer on addition mode, and sometimes it just looks better if you add like these random like edge highlights. Just to, if you want your horse to be very shiny, you add edge highlights. I don't know what else to call them. deleted the part of the main that ended up on top of that here. And now I'm adding like <clears throat> the second layer of highlights to the main. Now I'm going back and adding more strands, my gosh. to the darker areas. More strands to the tail. Now here I'm trying to figure out how to shade the tail, you know, halfway decently. 
Oh, I'm back to the main again. I <laughs> did not realize I went back to the main so many times. I I'm just fixing the highlights on the hooves. I I'm smudging out the <coughs> smudging the color across and kind of reshaping them, and then I'll use the dodge burn tool to make those like horizontal stripes. They're not stripes. out some of the highlights I did. Oh uh, yeah, the butt I realize is far too large, so make the butt smaller. And I move the tail down. Now the butt is just misshapen. Here I'm just going to delete the excess of the mane that, to make, just to make that line nice and spend much time on the tail now that I think about it. I spent all my time on the mane and not much time on the tail, but here I'm going back to the muzzle. I spent a lot of time trying to make the muzzle all fancy and stuff. The thing I don't like about the main is how the braids end. It just looks stupid. <laughs> and this guy needs some jewelry, obviously, so I gotta give him like this silver headpiece. Looks good in jewelry. You can pull it off. I will say right now that I end up. I just made a, a quick brush again for the. I don't know what the color is. Um, so I will say right now that I did forget to do his earrings, and also after I had finished speed paint video, I added, at the ends of the braids, I, a I added uh, that color green, like, hair ties, um, but those two things did not make it in the video. So the final version has both those, but you don't see me do it here. Here I just made a, a layer group for the, the headpiece, and I'm using right there to get that, like, chainy look. I just use Bristles 03 brush, the same one I use for the hair texture, and just dodge burn random on the random setting. Random angle. And then the shading for the jewelry was also I used the grain merge method. So I had like I colored gray and then I put it on grain merge and I used black and white for the shading. Here I'm about to do the hair texture, so same thing basically that I've been doing, except that instead of I smudge it the first time, and I go back and I smudge it again. So here's the first time. Doing 
it again just made the coat look like shaker. She it, it made it look like it shaken more. Shaker. Shaker word. I think I may have meant the same. Alright. So say hi to Gilio. So this is the speed paint, 20 minutes long. Um, I just wanted to talk through those few If you have any questions, please ask. I will put the link to this full-size picture in the, in the description so you can look at the full size and see you know, the details, whatever you want to look at in full size. And on, I, on my DeviantArt, I do have a DeviantArt. I got asked that recently, and it's the same username, vizarin.deviant.com. So, yeah. I will see you all in the next video. Or maybe the YouTube stream, because that was fun. I really like that. So. <laughs>